Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. Now for this tarot card reading, I'm going to focus on the energy of the individual that you are dealing with. I'm going to be looking at their past energies as well as their present energies. So let's begin. Okay, so the very first card that I have came up in reverse position. This is a card when it is in the upright position. It talks about a person following their heart, right? And since this card came up in reverse position and the heart is so closely linked to it, it feels as if this individual didn't follow their heart when it comes to their connection with you. There could be a reason for this, right? Now, with this energy, it's very interesting because I feel like the individual that you are dealing with, they might have felt afraid to follow their feelings. They might have felt as if they can't come out and tell you what's really going on in this, you know, inside of them. It could be that they were having these secret feelings, desires. It could be a whole range of things, literally. But it feels as if there's emotions there. They didn't come out. They didn't say what exactly they were feeling. They didn't say exactly what they were going through. They might have been, you know, bottling up these emotions and reserving it for another time. But I definitely feel as if there, you know, were opportunities for them to come out and say to you what they were feeling, exactly what they wanted. But they didn't do that. And um, we'll come back to this energy in a moment because it's very interesting, you know, that approach was the very first approach that was taken. Maybe they developed feelings for you long before you even knew they existed. For some of you, that could be the case. This person could have been admiring you from a distance. Keep an open mind. Yeah. The next card is very interesting. I feel like the combination of these energies are pointing in the direction of this person feeling all over the place about the, their emotions, their feelings that they were going through. It's like the very sight of you or the thought of you would send them into a frenzy. You know, maybe they used to get butterflies in their stomach or things of that nature. It feels as if they were heavily affected by these emotions. But uh, there is this energy of them trying to say, no, don't give in, don't give in. And, uh, you know, again, we're coming back to that energy of where there must be a reason for this. I feel like this individual, they couldn't help but want to be near you or around you. I'm getting the impression they wanted to charge forward. They wanted to just come at you and, uh, you know, be all over you. That's what I'm getting from those two particular cards. But they tried and uh, they could be still trying to reserve this type of energy. Like, they don't want to show it. Some of you could have, you know, been dating this individual. You may have broken up. If that's not the case, this could be someone that has been bottling up a lot of emotions. Maybe things didn't get off on the right foot. Whatever the circumstances are, we see the situation playing out where emotions were being kept under wraps and it was making this person feel all over the place. Right. So the next card is showing to me that this person sort of 
got themselves in a position where, you know, they felt as if they messed up, right? Or perhaps they didn't shoot their shot when they could have. They could have been one specific moment or they could have been a number of moments where they could have made their feelings known. But, you know, for some of you, you might have been just talking to this individual nonstop and you felt a connection to them. But you couldn't quite figure out, well, why aren't they just coming forward and, you know, making a move or making things official for others? This could have been a relationship which is indicating, you know, that this person was keeping a lot of emotions inside, was making them go wild, go kind of nuts. And then, you know, the opportunity slipped through their fingers, potentially. Yeah, I do feel like this person that you're dealing with, they may have been over questioning their feelings and their emotions for you to the point where they over rationalized it. And it took them to a very dark place. I'm definitely picking up the energy of this, taking them to a very um, sad sort of place in their life. The fact that uh, they didn't make their move or they didn't do what they wanted or didn't do what they could have done feels like that. Let's look at the present energies. Okay, so we see the energy of this person not really having the courage to move forward. They might have been a little bit reckless in the past, and I feel like they got their fingers burned. And, you know, there's something about what happened before that has really affected them in the present circumstances. For some of you, you may have felt as if this was a real and genuine connection. But, uh, you know, this person isn't coming forward and this card is in reverse position. Yeah. Very difficult energies have shown up. I feel like this person that you're dealing with, it's a, a real issue for them that they didn't do what they could have done in the past or they didn't make a move when they could have. They seem to be very bothered by that. I feel like this individual feels as if they've lost big. Right, yeah. So this is confirming it. Clearly heartbroken, very heartbroken, not knowing how to deal with these type of deeper emotions that have come to the surface. It's, you know, quite transparent that this individual has been deeply affected by these type of, uh, you know, emotions that uh, they didn't really anticipate having or didn't expect to have such a profound effect upon their life. It's hard for them to snap out of that energy where they didn't really make a move when they could have. So let's see. I 
feel like a lot of you were very disenchanted before and after this experience, meaning that, you know, in the lead up of getting to know each other, or maybe the two of you were dating one another, you were pretty certain that this individual was going to come forth and maybe seal the deal or make things official. And then maybe they just went quiet, you know, it feels as if it tapered down. And this individual, you know, you might have thought they lost interest, but it feels like something got in the way. It's very distinctive that it's coming off that you might have assumed that this individual is no longer into you. Right? Yeah, there was some sort of big change that occurred and it feels as if it caused a lot of hysteria. I feel like this individual in question, you know, there's a sense of highly volatile energies. that came into play a role here. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be continuing and seeing, you know, why certain things happened the way it did, as well as looking at this person's perception of the situation, their feelings and thoughts, and what is really going on inside of them. What is the right way for you to move forward, given how, you know, things sort of collapsed in this relationship? It's quite clear that you were expecting something from this individual or maybe, you know, you were hoping for them to make a move. If the two of you were in and out of a relationship, it's quite uh, evident from these particular energies that uh, this person may have messed up. But I also feel as if this individual is languishing in these very deeper sort of energies that are very difficult in nature. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care, Sagittarius.